at sort of the, the customary thought processes, like you come of age at 17, you get your whatever. But I think in life, like I didn't come of age. I'm always com I'm always coming of age. Like I'm coming of a new age every age. And so I really wanted to, to sort of talk about in this movie, like create something where all these three generations are coming of an age. Because I think there is always this place of like having to, and it's all about letting go really, but like, you know, having to parent your parents with your co-parenting with your sibling and, you know, and obviously coming of age in a more conventional sense and then having to come of an age where you're letting go of mm. your whole life and your whole love affair. And it's all a process, I think, of letting, life is just about letting go. Usually I'm playing, you know, more of a character and I feel like this is strangely the most vulnerable I've felt as an actor because I was playing a, a woman who was really uh, struggling with decisions that she made and decisions she didn't make for herself and trusting her instinct and um, knowing her self-worth and it's all, all these things that I think encapsulate a, a person and especially a woman and so um, she was really multifaceted and, and, and complex and Elizabeth wrote that so well um, but the relationship between her daughter and then the relationship between her brother and then the relationship between her parents they were all so different and and I think like the d dysfunction within a family but the love within that dysfunction and um, it was just all captured beautifully by Elizabeth and um, and like I said just strangely the most vulnerable I think I felt in a, in a role to date the script was beautiful. It was all on the page. We didn't have to go there and, and, and do much. We went there and became the family because it was already written for us. And for me, my character, Emma, what I really loved was um, she's someone who spent her whole life, you know, trying to please her mom, trying to please somebody else. And that's the same thing, in my opinion, what Hillary's uh, character was doing. She was trying to please other people in her family. And I think that's part of the coming of age is learning that you have to please yourself. It's not selfish. It's 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 a necessity you have to be happy with yourself to be able to you know be happy with other people and and, and live your life mm -hmm. first you're born you can't take care of yourself you got to rely on the ones who parented you and then a few years go by and you can take care of yourself and then a few years more go by and you are expected to take care of yourself but for the rest and most of your life you're expected to, to take care of others mm -hmm. until the very end when you can no longer take care of yourself and have to rely on the ones you have parented, you better do a good job, Bob. <laughs> and this is a moment of taking care of parents um, and um, parents doing their best to continue and finish uh, uh, gracefully. I really enjoyed being a part of this family, you know. Uh, it's, it's very strange, even uh, we, we haven't been together for months. Uh, when we were at Sundance, uh, unfortunately, Robert wasn't even able to make it. And um, it's just funny how we can be apart for months and doing completely different things, living totally separate lives, and then come back together in Toronto and it just materializes. Uh, there's something very um, spiritual about it, I think. Mm -hmm. And it, it kind of proves that uh, that we are all much more similar than we think. Mm -hmm. And I feel tremendously grateful for all the women that have come before that have allowed this allowed me to have a place, a ceiling to break through. Um, I, I feel very grateful for that. And I think the reasoning behind why it's this way are so many. I mean, there's really infinite reasons why we don't see more women behind the camera or represented in other parts of, of on crew and uh, cinematographers and writers and performers who are having lead roles and even smaller roles, extras. Like, why are there so many fewer women. The numbers are, are, are it's all, it's infinite, why? Um, but I was saying earlier that like, confidence is a big part of it. You know, when I first had the idea for this film, I was in this church in Oak Park, Illinois, and I was looking around the church being like, well, somebody's supposed to make this movie, and I'm supposed to tell them that they're supposed to make this movie. Like, it never occurred to me that it would be me. And I'm looking around this church in Illinois. Like, no one could possibly do this in Illinois. And it, it just, I eventually realized that, like, nobody else, it didn't seem like anyone else was writing it, so that I should probably write it. But, you know, like, have, I just didn't have the same awareness, the same, the same path, the same history, the same channels. I didn't really know filmmakers that looked like me. Mm -hmm. And so um, confidence is a big one. 
that I think we all need to support each other's vision and, and our own vision. It's something that we can actually control.